Welcome to Year 5 Column Edition with Three Digit Numbers. Okay, the number that we're going to add today is 346 plus 297. So let's just think about place value a little bit before we make a start. Think about what these digits are worth. So we've got 3 here, which represents 300. We've got 4 here, which represents 40. And this is 6 as a unit, so that just means 6. We've got 200. We've got 9, which represents 90. And then we've got 7. OK, so we're going to set it out in columns now. So we have the biggest number first, 300. And 46, and we've got 297. I'm going to put a line underneath there, and a plus sign so to remind me what um, what calculation we're doing. Okay, so you're going to make sure that things are lined up correctly here. Your units need to be in the same column, your tens need to be in the same column, and your hundreds here need to be in the same column. Okay. So we're going to start off with uh, the units over here, and we've got 6 plus 7. 6 plus 7 is 13, so I put the 3 here, the unit, and then the 10 down here. So if you think about it, we've got 1 10 plus 3 units, which is 13 in total. Next we're going to move on to the tens column. So I'm going to add this 4 here, which is 4 tens which is 40, this 9 here which is 9 tens which is 90 and then this single 10 down at the bottom which is just worth 10 so 4 plus 9 is 13 plus the 1 at the bottom makes 14 so I put a 4 there and I put a 1 here now the reason I do that is 40 plus 90 plus 10 equals 140 so I've got 140 Okay, now I move over to the hundreds column. It's 300 plus 200 plus 100, but we can think of it as 3 plus 2 plus 1. 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 6, giving me an answer of 643. So I'll write that up at the top, 643. 